We did um, the first film in the trilogy called 50 Feet from Syria <clears throat> three years ago. And um, the genesis for the trilogy really was just uh, my horror personally at the burgeoning refugee crisis that was unfolding on a global scale. And I thought, what could I do about it? And uh, I sort of looked myself in the mirror and thought that this is, could be what I could do personally, just volunteer when I wasn't working as a commercial director to uh, devote my small set of resources to doing a trilogy of films to bring it to greater light. We found another rubber boat, 012 degrees. Is there another one, Joe? Yeah, they are not big. People are risking their lives to sail from North Africa to Europe. sank less than 10 miles off Libya. Migrants Libya's were coast. fleeing poverty and war. Three shipwrecks in just three days. Or only a handful survived. Lifeboat actually <clears throat> came directly or, and fairly organically out of 50 feet. Uh, some of the NGOs and the doctors we were working with on the Syrian-Turkish border when we filmed the, the first project, they, they said as soon as the border to the EU was shut down at, you know, in Turkey, that that refugee flow would simply push westward into the central Mediterranean. And we were told over and over again by the doctors that that's where the bulk of the casualties would develop in the coming years. And they were right. And so right. once we drilled down and learned that uh, there was these volunteers who purchased a boat, a retrofitted research vessel, and had decided to motor down and simply pull people from the ocean of their own volition. That was hugely inspiring to us. That's amazing to me that a group of 16 people could pull over 3,000 people out of the ocean. And it, to me, it speaks to what civil society can do uh, to intervene when, you know, our nation states and our leaders aren't.